In an earlier video, I mentioned that the OpenTunes Eraser tool can behave a little differently than users might expect. Yep. So, in the spirit of understanding, let's take a closer look at how it works. <clears throat> so, like we covered in the last section, in OpenTunes, a vector brush stroke is really just thickness that's been applied to a geometric path. With the Eraser tool, if the eraser doesn't intersect with that central path, it's not going to have any effect on the stroke. It only works if it intersects with the path, and if it erases some of that path, that results in some of the stroke disappearing. This isn't always what we want, so I'm going to demo some alternatives where the eraser tool might not be ideal. So, onto this example now, very classy, but we've got some issues with our quill and ink drop up here. First of all, ink drop doesn't look much like an ink drop. We'd like more of a teardrop shape on this, and it's tempting to use the eraser tool and just kind of try and shave away at the top of the drop, but unfortunately that's not how the eraser tool works in OpenTunes. So instead I'm going to switch over to my pump tool and make sure that my size is nice and low, and I'm going to use the pump to thin down the top of the drop and then thicken up the bottom maybe repeat the top one more time there until I've got that teardrop shape we want. Uh, for a little bit more refinement, I might select it and stretch it vertically to accentuate that drop shape a bit more. All right, then moving on up to the quill, we've got some messiness here where these lines are not coming together like we want them to. You could technically tap E to switch back to the eraser tool and chip away, but it's not precise, and you run the risk of erasing one when you mean to erase the other. So I'm going to hit Control z to undo that, and instead I'll tap C to switch over to my control point editor, and then I can move the endpoints for my lines to make them come together exactly how I want. So those are some alternatives for the eraser tool, but the eraser does come in handy every once in a while. It can be useful if you need to interrupt a line to add more details like these notches in the quill. Uh, to break up this line, I can tap E to switch over to my eraser and then erase away a gap where I want this new notch to go. Then tap B to switch back to my brush tool and draw in the extra lines for that new notch. You could do that with the pinch tool like we showed in the previous section. I prefer, though, the manual control of drawing in that kind of detail with the brush. So now we've spoken a bit more about the eraser tool and about cleanup in general. And be aware that kind of cleanup becomes very important when we start adding color, which will be our next topic. So stay tuned. I hope you find these videos helpful, and if so, subscribe for more tutorials and check out thundercluck.com, especially if you have any young readers or fans of animation in your life. Thanks for watching.